don't put all your eggs in one basket because uh, university applications is the ghetto like it's the ghetto it's the ghetto it's the ghetto it's the ghetto what's good what's popping it's your girl t coming back at it with another video if you enjoyed today's video give it a big thumbs up and make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already and if you are a returning subscriber thank you once again for tuning in to one of my videos so as promised from my previous video today i will be walking you guys through my application process and how i applied to study for medicine in south africa so in case you haven't watched my previous video i basically talk about how i got rejected from a medical school and how i dealt with that rejection and just sharing my tips for anyone going through a similar situation of having to deal with rejection and just overcoming that so now in today's video i'm talking about how i got into medical school how i got accepted so just to clear the air i applied to five institutions and of those five institutions two of them rejected me and then as we go through the video you guys will find out what ha happened with the other three universities that i applied to so yeah just keep in mind when i'm talking about like my rejection video and getting rejected from medicine two of the universities that i applied to rejected me last year in 2020 so yeah <laughs> i hope that clears the air before it seems like i'm just sending you guys a bunch of mixed videos mixed signals yeah okay so let's take a trip back to march 2020 pre-covid pre-lockdown in south africa and i had applied to my first three universities which were the university of the wits waters Rand, which is also known as wits stellenbosch university which i'm going to be referring to as stellies and the university of pretoria also known as up so those are the first three universities i applied to for medicine because they had opened up their applications on the first of march so if there's any tip i could give to any matrix watching this video in 2021 or like grade 11s or anyone who's just interested in knowing about the application process apply early like apply early when it's the first of march or the first of april whenever the applications open you must be the first one there on that website like trust me it's better to apply early because you give yourself enough time to go over all the documents that you need before you actually click submit so you get all the documents that you need you make sure that they're certified you can even ask your teachers at school to just go over your application and make sure that everything is in order and is looking good right before you apply because if you leave it to the last minute you're going to feel very overwhelmed and rushed to get everything in order before the deadline closes so rather be safe than sorry and just apply early okay so for all of these universities i applied for two um degrees my first choice was of course medicine and my second choice was a bsc which is a bachelor of science in biological sciences okay fast forward to i would say the 30th of march or the 31st of march 2020 so we're now in lockdown i'm stuck at home i'm trying to navigate like online learning and submitting my assignments because my school was giving out assignments like it was no one's business like we weren't in a pandemic so yeah fast forward to that point in my life and up decides to send me a rejection letter up <laughs> so yeah 
right before I started my applications for UCT, the University of Cape Town, and UFS, the University of the Free State, UP had sent me a rejection letter. So, yeah, the cat's out of the bag. That's the university that rejected me. But hold on. Hold on to your caps because there's another university that's going to reject me. But but just wait. Just wait. <laughs> okay, before I carry on with my application story, um, my second tip for all the matriculants out there and anyone applying for university right now is apply to as many universities as possible. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like... In your heart of hearts, if you feel as though UCT is the university for you, that's where you need to go, apply to UCT. But also apply to like two or three other universities, just in case. Like, don't take that risk of just applying to one institution and believing that that one institution is going to accept you and life is going to look breezy and you... Mm, like, don't do that to yourself. I'm giving you this tip right now. Apply to as many universities as possible. Okay, back to the story. So it's the 1st of April. Um, I'm processing the fact that UP has rejected me and I'm now starting to apply to UCT and UFS. And I applied for the same things. My first choice was medicine and my second choice was a BSc in biological sciences cool let's fast forward to let's fast forward to may by may um vitz and stellenbosch and up had all accepted me for my second choice keyword second choice so not medicine but my second choice okay okay now we're gonna fast forward to august of 2020 so by August of 2020, UFS and UCT have also like accepted me for my second choice. By the way, when I say accepted, I mean conditional acceptance. So I still need to meet like a certain like grade requirement in order to get a final acceptance. So by August, all of the universities have accepted me for my second choice. UP has rejected me for medicine. And UFS has now rejected me for medicine. Okay, so September 2020, I'm back at school. I'm preparing for my final examinations. If you didn't know, I did the Cambridge curriculum. So I wrote my A-levels in October, November of 2020. And I reacted to my results. So if you haven't watched that video, it's somewhere up here. Anyways... So I went back to school, I'm chilling, I'm revising, I'm studying, you know, I'm getting ready for um, my exams when I receive like this very beautiful, very nice email saying, Tamanda, you have been conditionally accepted to study medicine at Stellenbosch. <laughs> whoa, whoa. So now we're going to fast forward to December. I'm done writing my um, final exams and I'm on holiday. I'm chilling. Stellenbosch is the only university that has given me conditional acceptance for medicine. UCT and WITS, literally all they could say was awaiting final results. So UCT and WITS had basically deferred my decision meaning that they were waiting for my final results before they can either accept me or reject me up and ufs as you already know they rejected me so let's not uh, let's stop talking about those two because no <laughs> the cambridge results are out it's january i was sending out my results i had to apply for like the matric exemption whatever 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 but guys I was excited and I really thought that the fact that Cambridge results had come out early would mean that I would know which university I'm going to before the matric kids. Was I not wrong? Was I not wrong? All the universities literally said like, okay, thank you for your results. We're going to wait for the matric results and then we'll let you know like if you can come or not. 
why why so basically i also had to wait until february to find out like my application status had i been accepted or rejected what was going on you know so during this time um vits and uct did get back to me about my second choice which was the bsc and both universities accepted me so this time when i say accepted me i mean final acceptance uct and vits they finally accepted me for my second choice so metric results are finally out people are getting their acceptances um for some people unfortunately they were getting their rejection letters unfortunately and like i was just there chilling like when is mine gonna come like <laughs> what is going on like when is mine coming out i was literally refreshing my emails each and every single minute like every five minutes i would go to my emails and refresh and see if there's like a new email or something from one of these universities which brings me to my third and final tip to my matriculants when you apply for university number one make sure you give them the correct email address and number two make sure you check your emails frequently because these universities will email you to let you know if you have outstanding documents that you need to submit or if there's something wrong or just to update you like okay we've gotten your application okay um we're waiting for your final results okay we've given you res so make sure you give them the right email address and you check it frequently i was refreshing like, my emails every single day and then um there's this other group chat that we were put in for accepted health science kids on telegram by stellenbosch like dude even that group chat was blowing up each and every single day people were like hey yo have you gotten a decision from stellenbosch yet like what's going on have you been accepted what's happening like it was crazy we were all waiting like we were all waiting and people were even calling in like Stellenbosch yo like what is happening what's going on so anyways um on Friday they finally finally got back to us and our application statuses changed and it said that we could register for our degree program like if it was medicine or physiotherapy or dietetics whatever health science degree program it was it changed to you can register for this program and um a lot of us had emailed and phoned stellenbosch before we got that email about the whole registration thing to ask them when our decisions were going to come out and they told us that if we get any information that tells us that we can register it means that we've been accepted like you should just know that you've been accepted so on friday i finally got that message from stellenbosch my baby girl my baby girl that i've been accepted for medicine i could register for medicine so yeah guys that is where i'm going that is where i'm going i'm going to stellenbosch university i'm going to stellies you're gonna see me there by the beach you already know the vlogs are gonna be chef's kiss you already know you already know i'm gonna be doing the most of course i'm gonna study okay i'm gonna study but i'm gonna be doing the most as well because i am going to my dream province like i've just i've always wanted to be in the western cape and the fact that i get to go is just <sighs> amazing 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 so that is my story that is how i got accepted to study medicine at a south african university so that's it from me i hope you enjoyed today's video and i would just like to say a big congratulations to the class of 2020 we did it we did it during a whole panoramic we done did that so to everyone going to university this week i wish you all the best of luck and just go out there and succeed this year okay as you can see from the title below <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 okay. <laughs>
and my journey into medical school yay and ufs has now rejected me for medicine round of applause for ufs and up i'm so girl i'm so petty i'm so petty